going to need the umbrella, the rain boots, it seems like all weekend long. At the airport, we already have a little over six inches of rain on record for June 2015. And this weekend, we're looking at possibly up to two additional inches of rain. So with that being said, a lot of rain headed our way. Flood watches are up for the entire viewing area. They will go into effect 8 p.m. tonight, and they will last until early Sunday morning for most places. So if your roads near you or even your basement flood easily, just be aware that the wet weather is headed our way. How soon do I expect it to arrive? Well, let's start with a look at radar, see where this storm system is at as it's moving in our direction. The valley is staying mostly cloudy right now, not seeing any rain yet, but the system is headed in our direction. It's just now making its way through Mansfield, Coshocton to the west of 77. So it's looking like at least for the next hour or so, the valley is staying dry. Let's turn to our future tracker to see when I expect it to arrive. It's picking up on some showers closer to our direction that we're not actually picking up on radar. So, so the models don't always get it right, but they get it pretty close in most cases. So we're looking at widespread spread showers into the valley area around 9 o'clock. I'm not expecting the heavy rain to arrive until after midnight. So here's 2 a.m. The heaviest rain is the orange and the yellow. We're talking about heavy downpours, uh, which really helps to the flooding situation. And that heavy rain, that's going to continue into the overnight. Here's 5 a.m. We're just seeing a consistent trend of heavy rain throughout the morning tomorrow, and that's going to continue into the afternoon. Here's 7.30 tomorrow morning. We're seeing pretty consistent uh, heavy rain through the morning into the afternoon. As we go to the second part of the day, we start seeing a few more breaks, but it's still picking up on uh, pretty heavy downpours. Pours. So again, flooding absolutely a concern for Saturday. Now on Sunday, we're going to get the tail end of this system as it swings through. So we're not going to see the heavy rain, but we're still going to see rainfall throughout the day Sunday, hoping it tapers off uh, into the second part of the day. Here's a look at our rain tracker, just how much rain we're expecting. Most models pull in at least an inch and a half, some models pulling in closer to two inches. So let me put this into perspective. For the month of June, we're at a little over six inches of rain. That's 26 days. We're talking two inches of rain in a matter of 36 to 48 hours. So that's a lot of rain in a very short period of time. And that is prime uh, flooding conditions. So here is what you need to know for the weekend. We're expecting heavy rain tonight and throughout the day on Saturday. Uh, so if you have outdoor plans, you better check because I'm sure they will be canceled uh, for Saturday. As far as how much rain we're thinking, everybody is at least going to get one and a half uh, inches of rain. Some areas closer to three inches and some isolated uh, areas three and a half to four inches. Uh, so a lot of rain, a lot of heavy rain headed in our direction. Here's a look at our trouble. Tracker. Now, as far as severe weather goes, uh, there is the chance of some thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon, and conditions could be breezy at time. But our main focus, uh, our main player in the game this weekend, is going to be the flooding, and we're going to continue to monitor it overnight and into your day on Saturday. So, all the latest updates can be found online, WKBN.com, and on our newscast uh, as you go through the weekend. Conditions mostly cloudy out there, still not picking up on any rain at this time. Uh, temperatures eventually falling tonight to the lower 60s. We have that chance of rain early in the evening, and then the heavy rain arrives after midnight. Tomorrow, a heavy rain likely. We do have the chance of some thunderstorms into the afternoon, and uh, we will see heavier downpours if some thunderstorms do get going. Conditions will be breezy tomorrow. Wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour possible. Sunday, the rain and uh, possibly some thunderstorms stick around for the first part of the the day. It's looking like it's trying to pull out for the second part of your Sunday. We could see some better weather into the evening. The chance of showers and storms returns Monday and Tuesday. We are keeping those cooler temperatures around through midweek, but on Wednesday and Thursday, it's looking like we could see some drier and possibly some sunny conditions.